the Cornish cycle. No, this isn't about biking. Instead, it is the arrangement of valves and their order of operation in a Cornish pumping engine. Okay, but what is a Cornish pumping engine? This is a beam engine with one cylinder, single acting, steam pressure up to 40 psi, 2.75 bar, and a condenser. There is no flywheel. On the other end of the beam, a pump is connected, either to drain a pit or to pump water up to a higher level, for example, drinking water. I'm going to explain the Cornish cycle using six schematic diagrams. In the first one, we see the relevant parts with the engine at rest. The piston is in top dead center because the weight of the pump rod pulls the pump end of the beam down. The piston end of the beam is connected via Watt's linkage to the end of the piston rod. Steam from the boiler is blocked by the throttle valve. In the next diagrams, three valves are acting, the steam valve, the equilibrium valve and the exhaust valve. Now the throttle valve is opened slightly. Steam and exhaust valves are opened. Steam pressure pushes the piston down, which makes the pump go up. The steam valve is closed at about half of the piston stroke. The steam in the cylinder expands, the piston continues to go down, pressure decreases. In bottom dead center, the exhaust valve is closed and the equilibrium valve is opened. Pressure above and below the piston equalizes. Now the weight of the pump side pulls the piston back into top dead center. The equilibrium valve is closed, the exhaust valve opened. At the same time, cold water is injected into the condenser, which is not shown. Thus, the steam condenses and a vacuum is created. Now the steam valve is opened again. Steam from the boiler pushes onto the piston, while at the same time the vacuum pulls. The starting phase of the engine is finished and automatic operation may begin. In real life, things may take some time. To quote Dennis Bradford Barton, a poor engine might require to be handworked for anything from five minutes to an hour or more. An experienced driver could feel whether she was solid or otherwise. And until she was, she was not safe to be put to work on the cataracts. An imperfect vacuum might suddenly become more perfect and the engine would then come indoors with a bang onto her catches. Or air under the poles might suddenly leak out and let her go outdoors with a similar crash. <laughs>